Hey, this is episode four of my daily vlog on freelance and art and whatever, really. Basically just trying to keep a something of a record of what I do and hash things out. And um, can you hear my clock on the wall? Because I just realized that it's ticking and um, I hope that's not a big annoying thing. Anyway, um, I just opened some mail and got um, the classic... G.I. Joe Volume 19. See that? That's um, 19. I was kind of confused because you usually get this was a comp from IDW and um, the the big uh, this is classic G.I. Joe and I I'm pretty sure all the other ones I've gotten were um, Real American Hero which I work on but uh, then I realized that there's a couple Real American Hero issues mixed in here or or it's all Real American Hero and I just worked on, happened to ink a few of them. I know there's one issue in here that I inked on vacation, uh, which I'll never do again because uh, I came home. I remember uh, two years straight ink, uh, working while I was on vacation with my family, and that, yeah, that sucks. Um, so anyway, uh, one thing, uh, in two weeks, two or three weeks, March 18th and 19th, I will be at the uh, North Carolina Oak City Comic Con in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, it's a two-day show. Uh, it's the first time I've done this particular show. I've done NC Comic Con before. Um, I think I'm going to be at Marvel City Con in Knoxville, Tennessee in April. Heroes Con in June and hopefully San Diego. I don't know when the pro registration is for San Diego. I'm still trying to find that out. I don't think it's happened yet. I hope not, but it usually happens about this time. Um, so anyway. Um, you know, uh, my... <laughs> We were trying to uh, do some finance. My wife, my, my, ah, my wife and I, for some financial stuff, and we got an email from um, uh, some guy at a, a which should have been a very professional email. Um, my wife emailed them, and they didn't answer the question. They just wanted to set up an appointment, and she just wanted to know some simple things, so she emailed them back, and she sent me the the reply. This guy sent it was this long. It sounded like a Facebook argument. And, you know, when people get on Facebook and they start wanting to make a point, they get all, you know, typing and make their thing. And it's just just condescending and insulting enough uh, to to make the other person angry. It's exactly what this sounded like. So um, maybe it's because I'm just, just old enough to have uh, not grown up as a kid in the Internet generation because we didn't have the Internet until I was in college. Uh but even now, when I email someone for the first time, I usually t try to be a little professional and not very familiar with the person, like we're all buddy-buddy when I don't know them. Now, after they respond and they set the tone, then, you know, I'll kind of match the tone. Not, you know, if they're kind of informal and just back and forth, that's fine. But um, if you're trying to, to run a business, especially, you know, well, especially any business, I mean... Um, I don't know what it is. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that for younger people uh, who are on Facebook all the time, that that's influenced how they interact in just written language. And um, don't do that. You know, um, one easy way to kind of set yourself apart, I, it seems to me, is becoming just be professional, which is kind of pathetic. Um, I don't think, you know, I don't, I don't get on Facebook and argue a lot. I don't really think there's much point in it, but, um, if, if that, yeah, I'm trying to think, you know, how you would even gauge, if you're the kind of person that does that, how you would become self-aware enough other than people just getting mad at you and telling you. But, uh, anyway, just be aware of how the tone you set and try to be a little professional when you're emailing your clients or your editor. Um, as a freelancer, you are your business. Um, and you've got to have that mindset to separate, uh, uh, you know, it's, it, it, it's for some people who go to a job and, and have to write emails, it's easy to have that personal um, uh, business kind of divide. But when you're freelance and you're doing business under your own name, kind of pretty much everything you do is your business and affects that because, uh, you know, I, I hate throwing terms like your brand and all that around, but sadly you are your brand. Um, so how you comport yourself in email and online is important. It's a very small thing, but, um, you know, don't, don't bring the f Facebook attitude into your professional emails. So anyway, um, 
I've got to get some work done today. I had some family stuff come up yesterday, and um, I had to watch my son after, yesterday afternoon. I, I bought him a little uh, little sketchbook, and uh, we went to um, the zoo, and he drew uh, the turtles and the, the, the penguins and everything, and his penguin was actually pretty good. Um, it was a little st stick figure penguin that I'm kind of impressed. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, uh, I post a lot of stuff on Instagram. Um, at uh, my username is Brian underscore Shearer, the same as Twitter. So um, anyway, that'll do it. I got to get to work. Got to get some list some things on eBay. I'm getting ready to put up some GI Joe pages. Some I think some Transformer pages. I may have some more Doctor Who pages. I'm gonna put up and some sketches. Um, but lots to do. So uh, I will talk to you all tomorrow.